Now here's something you may not know about DVDs. They often come with Easter eggs. Now, Easter eggs are extras that are hidden away for the really committed film fans to find. And there's some pretty amazing stuff if you look hard enough. So let's make life a bit easier for you and embark on the great Easter egg hunt. Since the inception of DVDs, hundreds of these websites, and for that matter, books, have popped up on how to find Easter eggs. But the problem with most of the ones you find on the internet is that they only have Easter eggs for Region 1 or Region 2 DVDs, which DVDs that only actually work in the US or the UK. But I have found this website here, which is DVDAnswers.com, and I've managed to cobble together a list of Region 4 DVDs, which is Australia. But in order to find them, I'm going to need a special weapon. Now it's going to be the buttons on your remote control that are going to unlock the secrets of your DVD for you. For example, on the Spider-Man 2 DVD, if you go to the first disc, special features and then commentary, use a combination of right and down and you'll get this funny little yellow spider figure. And if you click on that, you get this. Konnichiwa. I'm Sam Raimi, director of Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2. You are the very first audience in the world to see this advanced footage from Spider-Man 2. The first thing that needs to be said about Easter eggs is that most of them aren't what you'd call particularly worthwhile extras. They're novelties, and more often than not, they're bloopers. But there are the occasional gems, like if you put in the second disc of Pirates of the Caribbean and you go to the Moonlight Serenade section, when you select Main Menu and you press down on the remote twice, you'll highlight a skeleton's tooth. And if you press Enter, there's a clip of Keith Richards talking about how he feels about Johnny Depp basing the character of Jack Sparrow on him. I didn't know he was studying me, you see. <laughs> He's a distant cousin of my aunt's nephew, twice removed. Believe it or not, some Easter eggs can be educational. On The Mummy Returns, you can find a brief featurette on modern day mummification. On the original Matrix DVD, there are several easy to find Easter eggs exploring how concept drawings turn into computer graphics. But by far, the best educational egg has to be on the Girl Next Door DVD. It's a story of a porn star that moves next door to a teenage boy. So it's kind of funny that if you go to the special features page, highlight the gag reel option, press right on the remote and then press enter, you'll get this. In this film, we are going to discuss quite frankly the things that are normal and to be expected in the development of children in relation to sex. Mommy, I want to ask you something. There's a real geek factor to finding Easter eggs. On the X-Men DVD, if you go to the special features menu, then you go on to the theatrical trailers page, select theatrical trailer A, press left and hit enter. Behold, it's a Marvel comic family reunion. It can be a frustrating process, but the top prize for the most Easter eggs has to go to Moulin Rouge with 15, mostly involving Baz doing stuff, but there is a really cute one with Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor hamming it up with a performance of your song. Well, we had a go at the great Easter egg hunt. We didn't find everything, but we've decided that the joy of Easter eggs is actually in the hunt. So we've armed you. Off you go. You can go find them yourselves. Happy hunting. <laughs>